Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of old sheet music. I'm your host, Nicholas Carroll. Tonight we are looking at a piece called To a Star, à la toile. I don't know how to say that correctly. It is French for To a Star. I looked that up, but I don't know how to say it properly. This is a salon piece, it says on the inside. And uh, in classical music, a salon uh, was like a lounge, not a hair salon like an American person nowadays would think of, but a salon just meant any place you would go and just sit for a while, basically. So salon music was very popular uh, for a lot of the early 1900s and for the late 1800s. Uh, and there's tons of music that is called salon music. And the genre of salon music is usually something like this. It's kind of evocative. It's about something, some kind of imagery. It's usually romantic, both in the sense of music, romantic period, but also in the sense of, uh, like, uh, you know, the young lady in the pretty dress looking out at a star, wishing, dreaming, whatever. Uh, it's meant to be somewhat, um, emotional uh, more than a sonata or something like that would be. So it has some emotion behind it. So uh, before we get into the inside of that, let's look at the back of this. It does have one of these advertisements that I often talk about. This one is for a piece called Arbutus. It's by a different composer. Uh, it says it's a melodious and pleasing intermezzo made to most full useful recreation piece and will be a welcome addition to the repertoire of many amateurs. So there you have it. And it does look, um, it doesn't look easy, but it's certainly much easier than the last piece I played in this piece itself, actually, when we look inside of it. Uh, this piece has a good bit of 16th notes, a lot of cadenzas here. It has some pretty extended left hand that, you know, you have to actually have played that a little bit and learned the fingering before you can go full speed. So I will do my best here because I am sight reading it, but I think uh, this one is certainly more challenging than the one that's on the back that says it's for amateurs. So that's common in salon music. It's usually fairly difficult. It's meant to be impressive uh, to get tips uh, and kind of like in the early 90s you could still go to a restaurant and if it was a fancy restaurant they might be paying a professional pianist to play something really fancy to make it seem like an upscale restaurant you really don't see that very much anymore uh but within my lifetime even that's kind of vanished but um that's the kind of thing you could picture with the salon sometimes they had food sometimes they had alcohol. Um, sometimes you just sat there uh, with a cup of coffee and listened to somebody perform. Sometimes they had singers, sometimes it was a solo pianist. Uh, so when it was a solo pianist, they wanted it to be impressive so that you would get the most tips and get invited back and uh, get paid. So that's the idea behind salon music in general. This is by someone named S.B. Pennington. It says it's Opus 20, so that's the 20th piece that this person wrote. I'm saying person because I don't know from that whether it's a man or a woman for sure. It's probably a man, being that this was published in 1919. Um, but I don't know that for sure. Uh, I also lean towards it being a man just because, you know, it has a woman on the front and it's like romantic kind of thing. And it seems more likely a man would dream up that imagery. Uh, so it is on Dante Cantabile, which means it's pretty slow in a singing style. So even though I had a last 16 notes, I want to go pretty slow tempo. It's several pages, so let's go to it and see what it sounds like here.
Okay, so there you have it to a star, and that's by S.B. Pennington, very much in this romantic style I had talked about before playing it, and uh, it had a lot of reminiscence to Happy Birthday, in my opinion. There's that kind of mixed in with the main tune. You definitely hear that. Very close. Almost Happy Birthday at the beginning, rhythmically, too. Uh, so, of course, this is written in 1919. The person who wrote it, uh, Pennington, does not sound French to me, even though everything else in this music is in French. So it makes me think it's just an American who thinks French makes it sound more mysterious. It lends itself to the idea of being a salon piece. At the bottom here, I didn't mention this before, it says this is published by H.A. Becker Music House, 601 Ohio Street in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So most likely S.B. Pennington was an American composer in uh, hoping to write in the salon style and you know lend that kind of credence to it by putting a lot of stuff in French. So I was going to say, you know, okay, maybe the French don't sing Happy Birthday. Maybe they sing a different birthday song, but uh, this person probably was familiar um, with that tradition. So it's interesting that it has a very similar tune to me. Other than that, it did have a lot of um, Beethoven things here in the middle uh, with this uh, agitato section. It sounds very Beethoven. So very much influenced by other pieces, I would say. It was fun to play through, though. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a bad piece. It's just, uh, like a lot of these other ones, it's not terribly original. Like, you can tell it was being written just because there was a market uh, for, for sheet music. So people were writing pieces that would sell. Not that I'm jealous of that. <laughs> being a composer myself, it would be pretty nice to have a market like that. Anyway, I'm going to post, I know this is really dark in my room, so I'm going to post a better picture of this maybe up close because it is pretty nice detailed artwork. <laughs>